Well, it's the 8th of March 2018, 04 10 hours GMT, Zulu time. This should be the second Beano this week, so this should be MBO3, except it's not. Um, the Beast from the East, Storm Emma, lots of snow. Actually, there's a bit of sleetiness in what we're getting at the moment. So, um, Hereford, they have a huge stockpile of cloud water just arrived. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, there will be bacon. It's Curry Thursday day. There's all sorts of things that are bad for me. Not the least the weather. Anyway, enjoy it while you can. There's a hint there somewhere. Well, I'm sure. And there wasn't any snow and there wasn't any sleet. It was just a hint in bed, Russell, so I think you might have seen earlier on before. And in line with my policy of continuous improvement, I've now added the TechMeme podcast to my rotation. Tweak the sound quality a bit, but it's not bad. Anyway, chilly but dry. And there be where I'd be staying. It's light. It's quarter seven and it's light. I'll run with that. Anyway, Costa, cause coffee number one. I don't think they're open though. <clears throat> but Costa just up a little bit further. Bacon rolls. Oh, the joy that is bacon. Right, let's get on with it. working properly here, hence the electric fire. Nice bit of carpet, Mr. Mammy. Anyway, um, this is the new, well, one of the two new craft cameras on the new menu. The other is Elvis Juice, which they don't seem to have. Anyway, this is Pathmaker by Black Sheep, and it's 5.6% alcohol by volume. Bought it on the app. And it came from all the way over by there. Yeah, that makes me lazy but tacky. A little bit cold because of the fridge. Nice hoppy aroma. I'd say just like the traditional. Mmm. Sharp. I'd say grapefruity. With more of a traditional fruit finish. Really bitter finish. B plus in a bit. Oh, the finish does go on. Probably even get better when it's um, a little bit warmer. So update, the heating is off. It's been off all last week as well, during the snow. Um, they have got Elvis juice here, despite what the app says. This is going off half cock by Bespoke Brewing, 4.6% alcohol by volume. I gave it a B plus last time, 3 out of 5. There could be a curry next. Mm. Traditional aroma. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy. Gentle bitter finish. It's still a B plus, but it's not bad. Okay, mango chutney, Bengali, bhajis, chicken gel frazy chips, rice. Oh, I'm not pop tops. Naan, ornery. Hashtag curry Thursday. It's really warm, but the wind, the wind is absolutely cutting. 
however. I'm doing out and so far. This is good news. I'm drinking the Pilsner from Stravanga. Living 4% alcohol by volume. It is it's nice out and the sun's warm, but the wind, as mentioned, freezing. However, in here, lovely and excellent for charging my solar powered rock. So, 4% alcohol by volume. More full body than the normal Pilsner, as you might expect. Quite malty, three plus in the bed. Ooh, better lighting, a bit moody. Tail dragger, a robust porter, it says. And the uh, six point stop. 6.5% alcohol by volume. It's more like a blow your head off porter. However, very, very, very well. Made. So notes, sort of chocolatey, coffee, sort of hoppy. Bit hoppy finish. I have a great one for porters, but. That's a B++. It says nodding. There is a lot of weather around today. Also, a lot of fine ales. This is a hot vice sub here. He says in his best grade you German. Cool bananas lost and grounded from Bristol 5.6%. Alcohol by volume. I really like this cactus. Mmm. I can see where the bananas come from. Mmm. Sharp, fruity, bubblegummy. B plus plusy. Talking nonsense. However, the quality of light. Update on the weather, gone a bit grey, and the water in Hereford is from Welsh Water to Cymru. This is, and I've never shared them before, this is from Mills Brewing, this is a running beer, blend to a Lambic style sour, 5% alcohol by volume. Not actually Lambic, but in the style of if I can zoom in. There you go. Mm, I don't want to say it smells sour because I don't think you can. But it's almost got that earthiness that lambics have. That is a sour. It has that sort of farmyard funk about it. B. It's an acquired taste, but once you're there, it's great. Grisette from Burning Sky. 3.5% alcohol by volume. Light and floral. Slightly fruity. But not in a citrusy sort of way. Mm. Apparently, the beer of miners. It's sort of that Belgian bubble gummy sort of yeasty taste, which is nice. Mm. More gentle. B. Again.